Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 video, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most powerful and possibly borderline overpowered builds within Destiny 2. Now, of course, this is for PvE specifically, and honestly, this build is so damn good that I'm willing to say that this is the best build, not only in D2, but also in all of Destiny 1. Now, the one thing that has me pretty salty about this loadout is that it's for the Warlock. Are you kidding? We're gonna have another year of saying Warlock Master Race for PvE. I mean, in Destiny 1, it was that way with self res. I mean, people on the Sunsinger could just instantly revive themselves during raids and any kind of nightfall, which was the most clutch thing ever. And now we have this in Destiny 2. So I'm a little bit upset. I don't even have a Warlock that's fully leveled on PS4. So I'm gonna have to start grinding. And when PC comes out, I think I'm going to switch over to the dreaded Master Race Warlock. And I honestly hate to say it, but... It's Master Race again. Before we get into all the technical data and I show you guys what this build is capable of doing in PvE, I want to show you guys how to effectively get this build. So the first thing you need is a Void Walker, and you want to use the Bottom Devour skill tree. Striking an enemy with this melee ability fully regens your health and for a short time afterwards, kills restore health. We got Field, uh, field the Void, consume your grenade energy to regenerate your health, and it also grants the Devour effect. We also have, while the Devourer is active, killing enemies extends its duration and recharges your grenades so from just those three perks right there you can already tell a feedback loop of awesome melee kills is already happening now what we're gonna do is combine that with winter's guile if I'm pronouncing it wrong I apologize half the things within destiny 2 I can't pronounce and I kind of just I kind of deal with it so we got warlords sigil eliminating enemies with melee attacks increases your melee damage and that actually stacks up to five times now for some of you um, that kind of look at destiny 2's uh, uh, stacking capabilities whether it be weapon mods armor mods that kind of stuff you know that you know when you stack things up it usually doesn't give you that much of a percentage increase but on these gauntlets it is insane how much damage you can stack up and while you have unlimited devour going you're basically meleeing people doing tons of damage you're getting all your health back and you have devour and everything going for unlimited periods of time while you're meleeing people this is the most fun way to play destiny 2 and it's one of the most effective when it comes to to PvE within Destiny. So the one thing that this reminds me a lot of is basically having a rocket launcher as a melee. It's actually pretty stupid how good this is. And I'm gonna demonstrate that right here by showing you guys some of the stats. So for those of you that wanna hear a little bit about the stats, and believe me, a lot of you guys probably do because they are insane, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So for the Nightfall specifically on these Vex Goblins, what I did was a base melee damage of 831. That's with no buffs, no any kind of additions whatsoever. That's just a regular Warlock melee. Now, as I progressed up the scale with the Winter's Guile Gauntlets, I actually can get up to a maximum of a times five stack. At that point, I did 6,306 damage. If you go ahead and divide 6,306 by 831, that gives you 7.95, which means once I'm at the highest stack value, which is five with the gauntlets, I'm doing 7.6 times as much damage as a normal melee, which is nuts because that means you can basically one shot tons of enemies within you know a raid a nightfall a prestigious nightfall and any kind of heroic public event that you decide to do now not only that but you could also get super lucky and get a precision crit hit now that i didn't know this until recently but you can also get precision melee hits and that'll actually double your times five stack damage so for example if i were to hit a crit shot on one of these hobgoblins or a regular goblin where their stomach area is that damage number of 6,306 would jump up to 12,612. Just to give you an example, if I were to land a crit shot of that type of damage, I would be able to one-shot the yellow barred Hydra in this specific encounter of the Prestige Nightfall which is just stupid if you ask me. That makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, so like I said, 12,612 divided by 831 base melee damage is 15. So 15 times more damage when you have a full stack times five and you land a precision hit. I would make the analogy of this being as good as a rocket launcher, but seriously, the rocket launcher has to reload and it has a finite amount of ammo that I could chew. With this melee ability, you're strictly limited to how many enemies are in front 
front of you. If you can get from one enemy to the next enemy within a 6 second window, then you're basically going to one shot anything in your way and you can keep doing that for hypothetically an infinite amount of time. Now obviously you would eventually run out of enemies to kill because they just simply don't have any chance against you but this is seriously amazing and it just blows away my expectations of Warlock in general and that's why I'm definitely going to be maining a Warlock when it comes to PvE for Destiny 2 on the PC, no questions about it. Now you all have to consider that we didn't even begin talking about Devour. Take that in. This is only because of an exotic warlock piece. It's by far the best exotic in the game, don't care what anybody says. And then on top of that, you have Devour constantly healing you so you're invincible and also dealing out an absolute crap ton of damage at the exact same time. How is that fair in any way, shape, or form? I don't know. But you're also on top of that getting uh, your grenade energy back every single time Devour is active and you get a melee kill on somebody. So you're getting grenade energy back, you're constantly healing yourself back to full, and you're dealing amounts of damage out that are just uncomprehendable. And you can do so theoretically in an unlimited amount of time and amount of, I guess, melee hits that you can generate. So. That's it for the video guys, I don't even know what else to say, my mind has been completely blown while testing this out in PvE, during the raid, especially the prestige uh, version of the raid that's coming out in 2 days from now, this is going to be my team's go to setup for sure because it is just incredible. That's all I have to say guys, I am just going to keep rambling on about how good this is if I continue talking, so thank you all very much for watching, if you enjoyed a like rating would be very much appreciated, subscribe for more daily Destiny 2 content, have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you all later, peace.